Like I wrote last week, there's nothing more infuriating and unprofessional than, oops, I missed today's deadline. Can I turn it in next week? It happens to the best of us. I didn't get my last Monday Minute video recorded in time. When this happens, and you feel yourself falling behind, give as much advance notice as possible to those involved. In my case, I didn't do that. I became overwhelmed, panicked, and I didn't come clean until it was past due. Fortunately, I have an understanding team and association. Giving advance notice allows others involved to readjust their schedule and accommodate for the delay. When someone's late, it's natural to lose a little trust and confidence. And when you know you're going to miss a deadline, take action. And here are a few tips on what to do. The first thing to do is talk to the person who set the deadline. They're likely to extend it if you can provide a plan and set a new deadline. And therefore, when you know you're going to miss a deadline, make a plan. Figure out which tasks you can delegate and which tasks you need to do yourself. Then create a timeline for completing those tasks. One of the best ways to meet a deadline is to stay organized. Create project schedules. We use Basecamp here at AIBD. There are several project management platforms. Basecamp just launched a feature for project timelines called Lineup. Working from home makes it challenging. Put away the phone, turn off the TV, and find a quiet place to work. And hopefully Lineup will help me avoid distractions. Having happy and confident clients helps you to avoid time-consuming issues, which may mean working extra hours or weekends. Or maybe it's time to build a team by hiring or outsourcing. And one more thought about deadlines. Sometimes clients, before they become clients, are already skeptical about timelines. I've looked through the AIBD designer docs and there don't seem to be any templates that contain a penalty clause. There's probably a reason. It would be my advice to avoid them. But what do you do if a client asks? If a client sold an existing house and is renting, they have a good argument for being owed damages. Based on their lease, they may strongly request that you commit to a timeline and agree to a penalty clause. If renting a house is $3,000 per month and you go beyond your contracted completion date, it seems reasonable for a penalty clause to claim 100 per day damages. And if you disagree, you could lose a job. If you agree and something goes wrong, you could lose your arse. Now one way to save face and not agree or disagree is to suggest an alternative, like a bonus clause. If the client establishes that 100 per day is acceptable damages, wouldn't it be logical that you would be saving the client by avoiding the injuries by finishing ahead of schedule? And thus you should receive a bonus for that, right? I would propose the same amount, a 100 per day bonus. A savvy client will realize they're simply paying you instead of their landlord and not saving money. So you may suggest a $75 per day bonus or some form of compromise. The negotiation is important, but it's been my experience that 9 out of 10 clients won't agree to a bonus clause, which opens up the door for you to not agree to a penalty clause and still win the contract. You'll need to work like the Dickens, though, and earn that bonus for that one time out of 10. And have the change order form found in designer docs handy. Even if you don't charge for the change, still use the form to adjust the timeline and have the owner sign off. I know, a $0 change order sounds odd, but even when there's no hard deadline, using the change order form is a good idea. Get access to the designer docs in the AIBD store. Access is free for AIBD members. Any good stories about deadlines? Leave them for us in the comments below. And remember to go back to the email that brought you to this video. A lot is going on in AIBD. I don't want you to miss it. Thanks for watching and have a triumphant week.